Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing some of the numericals based on springs. So, if you want to solve the numericals, we should have uh, you know like the basic knowledge about uh, springs. That is starting from what is spring, what is the purpose of spring, the different types of springs, and even uh, some of the important uh, derivation. I mean concepts we discussed. Uh, whether the spring cross section is circular or if it is non circular or if it is a different shape and based on the applications uh, you know like the different types like belly belly springs leaf springs so all those things we have discussed so in this video like i'll try to solve uh, uh, you know like uh, all the problems from uh, you know like each categories so they may be from uh, the uh, a general use springs uh, to the leaf springs and the belly belly springs so all the problems i'll try to cover uh, in this video and uh, like uh, i have not shown any calculations so just uh, in this video i'll be explaining like how to understand the question and what all the formulas we supposed to use and uh, how to you know like uh, uh, write down the final result and for solving all this uh, uh, problems you know like i have taken questions uh, uh, from the university uh, prescribed author like vk bandari so this is the uh, you know like a uh, uh, textbook uh, like design of machine elements 2 by vk bandari i have taken all the problems only from this author so we shall move to the first question that is a compression coil spring uh, made of an alloy steel is having the following specification okay so mean diameter of the coil we know like mean diameter is nothing but dm and wire diameter that is small d phi mm uh, number of active coils so number of active coil means uh, the meaning of active coils i think everyone is aware where if you take any spring it, it is having many coils out of that how many coils are active or how many coils are inactive it is not compulsory that all the all the coils should be active uh, depends some coils can be active some coils may not be active and if this spring is subject to an axial load of uh, 500 newton okay the f value given as 500 newton uh, they ask us to find out calculate the maximum shear stress so we need to find out the shear stress and neglect the curvature effect to which the spring material is subjected okay so it is a very simple problem where they ask us to find out the maximum shear stress so to find out the maximum shear stress neglecting the uh, the wire cur curvature means uh, we know the formula that is a uh, tau is equal to uh, ks into 8 pd by pi d cube uh, i think uh, in the uh, previous uh, uh, videos like in one of the videos where we have uh, derived this uh, uh, that is a maximum shear stress formula also we have derived this so to find out these things even in terms of the spring index or without spring index we can able to find out first let me find out uh, you know like uh, the ks value so that is uh, 1 plus 1 by 2 c so c is nothing but the spring index value where d is nothing but the mean diameter and small d is nothing but the wire diameter where the value is given as 50 and 5 so 50 by 5 is nothing but 10 by substituting the c value here so 1 plus 1 by 2 into 10 uh, which I will get as 1.05. So, this is the formula. So, let me substitute Ks value as 1.05 and 8 into P into D. So, P is nothing but the applied force that is 500. D is nothing but uh, uh, the mean diameter and small d is nothing but the wire diameter. So, while well, substituting, uh, so 1.05 into 8 into 500 into 50 divided by pi into pi cube, I am getting uh, the shear stress value as 534.7 Newton per mm square. And even in terms of mega pascal, if you want to mention means no issues uh, without changing any magnitude, we can write down the Newton per mm square as mega pascal. So very simple problem. So we need to remember only uh, three simple formulas. That is the shear stress formula and uh, the shear stress factor formula and the spring index formula. So only these three formulas are sufficient uh, to solve this particular problem. Then moving to the next question. Again, the, this problem also I have taken from... Uh, 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 design of machine elements 2 by uh, VK Bandari. It is a university prescribed textbook. So the question given here is a helical spring is made from a wire of 6 mm diameter and has an outside uh, diameter of 75 mm. So if the permissible shear stress is 350 mega pascal and the modulus of rigidity is uh, 84 kN per mm square, find the axial load which the spring can carry and the deflection per uh, active ton. Okay, uh, very interesting. We will see how to, uh, how to solve this problem. Uh, where uh, the wire diameter they have given that is small d is 6 mm and outside diameter they have given outside diameter. So that is a DO. Here they have not given uh, the mean diameter that is capital D instead of the DO they have given. And the permissible shear stress value that is allowable or the working or design shear stress value they have given as 350 mega pascal. And the modulus of rigidity that is G value they have given 84. So we will find out... Uh, how to solve this? 
So first uh, we need to find out what is the mean coil diameter value. So by using this relation, uh, we need to remember this uh, as a note formula. So that is capital D, that is the mean uh, diameter is equal to outside diameter minus uh, wire diameter. So that is uh, 75 minus 6, which is equal to 69 mm. So now we know the, uh, uh, what is that, the mean coil diameter and the wire diameter. So by using these data, we let us find out uh, the spring index value. That is C is equal to D by D. So 69 by 6 which is equal to 11.5. So first uh, neglecting the effect of curvature where we will get the shear stress factor Ks is equal to uh, 1 plus 2C. So I know the C value by substituting 11.5 I will be getting the shear stress factor Ks value as 1.043. And the maximum shear stress induced in this wire the formula is uh, uh, 8PD divided by pi d cube 1 plus 2C. So here I will be writing the 1 plus uh, 1 by 2C as uh, Ks. So let me substitute the value where the allowable, the permissible shear stress value given is 350 and Ks value we got it as 1.043 and P is unknown where D is 69 we calculated and D is given as 6. So uh, while substituting all this value and after simplifying we are getting the P value as 412.7 Newton. And in case uh, the same problem if they are asking us to find out, uh, 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 they asked us to find out uh, deflection of the spring. So the formula is 8p d cube n divided by g d power 4. So let me writing the deflection per active turn because the 20 active coils are there. So among that we have to find out the deflection per active turn. So by substituting the rigidity of modulus value and the calculated pressure value I am getting the deflection per active turn as 9.96 uh, mm. And consider the uh, curvature effect where k value I will be getting as 4c minus 1 divided by 4c minus 4, this is the wall stress factor value plus 0.615 divided by c. So, which is equal to uh, the what is that? The spring index value is 11.5. So, 4 into 11.5 minus 1 divided by 4 into 11.5 minus 4 plus uh, 0.615 divided by 11.5. So, I am getting the wall stress factor the k value is equal to 1.123 and the maximum shear stress induced in this wire is tau is equal to k into 8 pc divided by pi d square. So, substitute the value. So, 350 which is equal to 1.123 into 8 into p into 11.5 divided by pi into 6 square where I will be getting the p value as 383.4 Newton. And similarly, uh, the deflection of the spring delta and the deflection per active turn, I am getting the value the formula is uh, deflection of the spring. The formula is 8p d cube n divided by g d power 4, where the deflection uh, per active turn uh, that is delta per n, which is equal to 8p d cube divided by g d power 4, where uh, the p value we calculated as uh, 383.4. Let me substitute that one and the d value which we calculated already as 69. So 8 into 383.4 into 69 power cube divided by 84 into 10 power 3 into 6 power 4. So I am getting the deflection per active turn is 9.26 mm. You can able to see the difference in the first two cases. And uh, we will continue the remaining problems in the uh, next video. Thank you.